We are on the hunt for more Funko Pop Grails. We are opening a $100 Pop King Paul Funko Pop Mystery Box. Check this out. What is going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Jeremy. This one's gonna be fun. I say that like every time we open a mystery box, but trust me, this Pop King Paul box is, is really great. I've had this one for a little while. This is the fan favorite volume 26. So this was, like I said, $100. Uh, I like this box because at the time of boxing, you were guaranteed value of $120. So, I mean, it's been, it's, it's almost a month old. So we got it right here. This one only fits three, two to three pops. So I'm, I lined them up. I know I'm right. I've, I've tried to guess before and I was wrong when I said there's no way you could fit four pops in that box. But this one, it's two to three pops. Trust me. Just trust me. Just trust me. So run through the details real quick. 25 total boxes, uh, two to four pops per box. So you're guaranteed one of the pictured pops. I'll throw a picture up for you. So there's some really good hits in here. I think if I had to choose a top hit for me personally, it would have to be probably, I think there was a Freddy as Green Ranger. That would be pretty cool. The glow in the dark one. I do already have the regular one, but the glow in the dark one would be pretty pretty sweet to add to the collection. Uh, there's a Scooby-Doo right in the middle. I, I tried to zoom in, I couldn't quite tell if it was, is it the Gemini sticker? I don't remember exactly. But there's a Scooby-Doo right in the smack middle of the page. That would be awesome. I'm very, very, very slowly growing my Scooby-Doo collection. And then, um, I don't know, the April O'Neil would be cool. The Ninja Turtles. I would like to start working on collecting the original Ninja Turtle ones. Um, so that'd be a fun, a fun way to start it. So I would not complain about any of those, but there's a lot of really good hits. So, I mean, there's a few that I wouldn't be super thrilled about. But all of these pops range in value from 50 to 110. And since you're guaranteed one, you're guaranteed a pop that's worth at least $50. So that's not bad. I will also add, since this is this box can only fit two to three pops, and we're guaranteed $120. That's not bad value if there's three pops in here, even 120 bucks for three pops. Your average is, that, that's pretty good. So we're gonna start out with a mystery grail box. I've got a few of these holiday ones. We're still sort of around like in that holiday season. So I thought it'd be fun to crack one of these, see if we can get a holiday grail because I love a lot of the holiday pops that Funko has. So in case you don't know, these uh, mystery grail, they usually drop Sundays. They're usually 15 a piece, but what we're looking for when we open this um, is a star. There's, if, if we hit a grail, we want it to say, way to go, you pulled a grail. It's gonna be a star on the front of the pop. <sighs> I would love to pull a holiday grail. This was a theme drop, so there was only 500 of these, 500 boxes. So our odds are still pretty slim, but a lot better than the normal runs. So let's go in three, two, one. Did we do it? Ah, we didn't. Charles Dickens. Hey, these are neat though. These are the, let me check and see if this is, is this the new ones? Yeah, Ele that's a weird sticker. Look at that price sticker on there, $11.99. I don't know where that would have, hmm. These are brand new. Uh, these are Christmas Carol Pops. So this is Charles Dickens. These are great. I really like, I haven't watched it in a really long time. But the Muppets Christmas Carol, it's fun. It's a, it's a fun movie. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. It's a great like Christmas movie to watch. So, and it's still not too far past Christmas. This would be dropping on the Thursday after Christmas. So you still have time to watch. Go watch it if you've never seen it. Of course, you do get your Grail Game card. These are fun. Grail Game is like an online mystery box, but it's not like NFTs where you don't ever get to redeem the pop. Uh, with Grail Game, you can redeem any pop you open in any box. You can also trade in those pops for more coins if you want to open more boxes. So it's it's pretty cool. 
And then our Grail Game Scratcher with our tokens. So those are sweet. I'm saving up my tokens to... Uh, I'm going to use them to, uh, to get some pop armors. I've got like 10,000 right now, which is not a crazy ton. So I don't know. I figure... I can either save them for a crazy grail, but that will take forever because I don't open a ton of mystery grails. Or I can just redeem them for pop armors because I need more pop armors anyways. I have a few Funko Pops that should be in pop armors and they're not. So that's what we're going to do. Highly recommend checking out mystery grail if you want like a really low risk mystery box. So you're not guaranteed value or anything. I'm also not sponsored. I would love to be maybe one day, but as of right now, I'm not. Just check them out. They're fun. All right. I almost looked in the box. Oh my goodness. We we're going to tip it on its side. There weren't any like redeemables in here, like uh, two or three packs or bigger pops that you'd have to send in for redemption. So we should be pretty good. Let's see what we got. I really enjoy Pop King Paul boxes. It doesn't happen very often that you get a bad one. He usually does does pretty good. There's usually pretty good hits in here. Okay, so we've got, they're all three in protectors. I don't know which one to do first. Probably save the middle for last. If I was gonna put the most expensive pop, I'd put it in the middle in case there's box damage. Uh, before we do reveal the first pop, I would just ask that you would really quickly just like the video, maybe head over and subscribe to the channel and just check out some of the other videos I've been putting out. I would really appreciate it. I love seeing the support. It, 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 it's exciting to watch the channel grow. It means a lot to me. But anyways, let's get into the first pop. Let's make sure we've got the front here. Man, three in protectors. I love it when you get three pops and only two or one is in a protector because that's usually a really good sign. But three, let's go. All right, first pop. Three, two, one. Hey, okay. This is cool. I love Huckleberry Hound. This is a really fun pop. Not crazy value. 16 bucks. We'll check at the end. We're gonna we're gonna verify all these out just to see if there's any fluctuations. But 16 bucks, Huckleberry Hound. I love these uh, like cartoon pops. They're fun. I have a few other Huckleberry Hounds. That's a neat one. I like that. All right, let's do the second one. You know. 16 bucks, $100 box, $120 guaranteed value. We've got two pops left. And we've got to hit about 104. So, well, not about 104. I mean, I guess if we're over, yeah, whatever. All right. So, well, that's the middle pop, though. I don't want that one. Sorry. Let me grab, try not to look. I'm just guessing here on if the middle pop is the is the big hit. So I, I could be wrong. This could be our big hit. This one isn't a protector as well. We are going to go in three, two, one. Demon Slayer. This is not the big hit because this is a brand new pop. So Nezco from Demon Slayer. These are fun. We collect anime pops. I got away from Demon Slayer because Funko just kept dropping like over and over and over more and more Demon Slayer. I could not keep up. My wallet did not agree with trying to finish the Demon Slayer line. So we quit. We sold all of our Demon Slayer pops. We traded them in at a, a pop shop. So we don't collect them. But this is still a really cool one. I do like these. I love watching Demon Slayer. Just not a line that we chose to focus on. Just because of the mass amount that they've come out with. 26 bucks. That's not bad. This is a Target exclusive. This one's cool. I like this. If we collected Demon Slayer, that would be a great hit, but it's still not a bad, it's not a bad pop by any means. All right. So 26 bucks. We should be, this should be like a 70 or $80 Funko Pop. Is that right? $120 guaranteed value. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Well, let's see what we got. Remember, this is a guaranteed in that picture that I showed. Um, I'm trying to think some of those I'm not too familiar on the value. You know what? Let's just, let's just show it. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, Hey, okay. This is cool. Spider ham. This is from into the spider verse. I know this one. Holy smokes. This is 95 bucks. Wow. That went up. Has it gone up in value or am I just, 
out of the loop. I know this one got really popular when the new Spider-Verse movie came out, but Spider-Ham, I'll, I'll probably actually keep this one. I don't collect Marvel or Spider-Man ones, but the Spider-Ham one is super funny. But 95 bucks, let me show it again. That's a great, that is great. That is a really good pop. Holy, that's the top, that's a top row too. Not in a hard stack, but this is cool. That was, that was a really, we are way over value, like way over. So, all right, let me check the values and I will be right back. All right, we are back with some values. So you'll see in a second here, this box was a little bit of a bummer, but not, not necessarily bad. So we're gonna run through them. We're gonna start with the Mystery Girl box, the Charles Dickens. This is a Christmas Carol pop. These are great. I really enjoy these. Super cool pop to display during Christmas, during the holidays. This one was $15. So technically we broke even because mystery girl boxes are 15 if you don't count shipping. So that's not bad. Now the Huckleberry Hound, which is another really good like Christmas decoration pop because he's wearing the Santa hat. This one was still held true, 16 bucks. So not a crazy expensive pop, but I really like that pop. I love the Huckleberry Hound. I think those Funko Pops are super fun, like super cool. Nezco, Demon Slayer. Not gonna go into detail about uh, why we don't collect Demon Slayer and all that again. If you want, just rewind it again and we'll run through it. Still $26, still a really cool looking pop. Just not, just not an anime pop that we collect currently. So now this is where it gets interesting. So this pop, Spider-Ham, at the time of boxing, was $95. Keep in mind, this is not Pop King Paul's fault. These are boxed, and he checks pricing as he boxes them. This was, I bought this one on December 7th. So this has been sitting for a little while now. 95 bucks at the time of boxing. HobbyDB currently has this pop at $65. So this one dropped $30 in, three weeks-ish. So again, not Pop King Paul's fault. That's a risk you take with mystery boxes. They do, prices do fluctuate. But the crazy thing is at $65, we are still over value for the cost of the box. I know we were guaranteed over 120, but for the cost of the box, we're still over value. So, and it's a really cool pop still. Like I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna keep it. It's very unique. I really enjoy this one. I might have to start collecting the Spider-Man ones. I don't know. We have, we've acquired quite a few of them. I do really like Spider-Man. So I don't know, we'll see, I might do it. Anyways, like I said, we paid a hundred dollars for this box. We, with current pricing right now, we're at $107. So that's still really good. Like, I mean, it's not crazy overvalue, but we still hit over what the box cost, which is, that's, that's, that's a win. Like now if we would have opened this right when we got it and done this, we would have been at $137, which is way over value, $17 over what we were guaranteed initially. So that's not bad. I'm very happy with this. I, I love this one. I love the Huckleberry Hound. I mean, I, I love the Muppets one. They're, they're super cool. Very, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> Jeez. Anyways, really cool pops. This box was fun. I really enjoyed this. This is, was this was a good time. But yeah, I think we're just gonna end it right there. <laughs> Obviously, we're out of boxes to open, so kind of have to. But just really want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Feel free to like it. Just comment down below what your favorite pop of the day was, and if you've ever opened a mystery box and had a decrease in value that that drastic. And then just make sure to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. I do love seeing the support. It means a lot to me. Just remember to be kind to each other. Thank you for watching and have a good day.